Hello beautiful people, good afternoon from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I woke up late, so I'm going to sound like a ghost, uh, but I want to do a special episode. I've been doing a lot of lists, this and that, but once in a while I do things that I really, really want to do. Uh, yes, these things may get view, may not get the view, but once in a while I like to talk, up, talk about my favorite fragrances, house, um, summary sort of, or bring back talk. So today, house, as you can see in front of me, a lot of Thierry Mugler fragrances. And currently, you guys know that Thierry Mugler is known as Mugler, just Mugler, not Thierry Mugler. So some of the fragrance releases are coming under just Mugler under new ownership. So Thierry Mugler doesn't own these fragrances no more or they're not producing. Someone else is producing. So I'm not going to go in depth who's producing what. I'm just going to show you the ones that I have in collection. I'm going to be missing some of them. I am sort of like a collector, but I'm not a complete collector. I buy the things that I really, really want. Okay. So, Thierry Mugler line, I have few women's perfume, but mostly the men's one and some unisex ones. And this episode is going to be long. Okay. That's why I'm going to do just this one episode for this uh, early afternoon session. Perhaps later today I will do a uh, talk. I have few topics that I want to discuss about fragrances. So, let's start somewhere. Thierry Mugler house. At this current moment, perhaps is not talked about that much anymore, okay? So the reason being, uh, perhaps the new ownership, whatnot, and they're not producing that many new fragrances apart from their new uh, collections of the Mugler Cologne collection. Uh, and the thing is, you know, like, there was a time, there was a time that Thierry Mugler house was one of the best houses. And I, to me, till date, this is one of the best house of designers that smell like niche quality because they don't copy anybody. They just do their own thing. And when I started collecting, I was very fascinated about this house because of the star mysteriousness and some of the other ones like pure Havan malt, the whiskey concept, the concept of uh, cigar, patchouli, chocolate, you know, caramel, tar. These things really intrigue me. So uh, there are a lot of, lot of things to say and I'll forget some, but I want to discuss the things that come to my mind. Okay. And the thing is, my scent of the morning before I start, just a while back, uh, Mr. Burberry Indigo. It's a very sunny day out here. But this perfume, if you've never tried, try it out. This is hidden gem. Very underrated, very beautiful, beautiful mint and citrus combo, okay? That's that. And then I'm accompanied for my voice activation. I have my tea with honey and lemon. So, yeah, a little bit rude, but yeah, okay. So, let's start somewhere. I want to start with the freshies, then I'm going to go to the darker sides, okay? So, uh, by right, I should start from this one, Angelman. Amen, that's 90s baby, but we'll talk about it when we talk about this whole line, okay? So let's start here in uh, no particular order, okay? Uh, it's not like I'm ranking them, okay? Just talking about them, summary sort of. First one we're look, looking at here, discontinued gem. This is called Iceman, okay? As you can see, beautiful uh, minty cooling kind of juice. And they have this nice little uh, design here. This is a test unit I bought. And this actually has uh, another fragrance that it comes in the same thing uh bottle shape i think that was called uh, sun essence and they have few other ones these were like in the mid time like of mugle they used to release these these are summer flankers so what is the concept of this perfume they have uh woody spicy uh polar uh, this iced coffee nutmeg and patchouli mostly what you get from this i'll tell you frosted cooling mint sort of uh, mint a <laughs> mint with a sort of like you know like a menthol vibe if you like that frozen grapefruit sort of like a mint that's sort a of combo you should try it very nice fragrance i really like it i've been wearing it for a while but it's kind of like a medicinal uh, at first but it, it it takes some wearing then you get used to it so it's kind of like a mint uh, ice cream okay so iceman the first one and i'm not going to discuss like so long because i reviewed them all just give you a uh, comp like a summary idea okay so next one is perhaps one of the most popular uh, summer perfumes that got discontinued very hard to find now and this is called ultra zest this fragrance sort of like i think this was my first buy from this house okay i went to buy theory mugle and in malaysia theory mugle counter only they had this one and theory mugle and i think uh, perhaps angel and other ones but they don't have that many in collection so i bought the rest of them mostly from bangladesh and i got them imported from uk so ultra zest is orange creamsicle when i bought it at first the hype on this thing was unbelievable okay uh, sorry, people are going to be dragging chairs and tables up here. People have absolutely no manners, okay? So, uh, here, the Ultra Zest one, the orange creamsicle is beautiful. It has a vanilla. It's a patchouli dry down. And, but the thing is, it's like a, you know, like an ice cream, soda, pop, that sort of a thing. One of the most unique 
summer fragrances. So I grew to love this perfume a lot. I have about like 50 ml or less left. Uh, perhaps I'll have a backup bottle, but these are like going really expensive price wise. They are going expensive. After a few months or so, this is going to be very hard to find. Uh, if you really wanted it, uh, the hundred dollars don't. I don't think it's like worth that price. But if you're a collector, if your money is not an issue, I would suggest you get this Summer Bliss. I just absolutely love wearing this. This one, Clinique Sappy for Men, Orange Fun. You know, so that's an absolute fun fragrance. Then after that, they release this one. This is called Crypto Mint. Okay, this and the next one. There's a difference. Okay, next one is gonna be Ultimate. I talked about yesterday. Not the same color. Okay, so they released this one i think it's a sibling of ultra zest but what is great about this it has mint spearmint so something in the line of iceman that i showed first this one uh, if you do like mint you're gonna enjoy this it's a candied mint so the orange is missing in this but the dry down they smell like a sibling like ultra zest and this so pretty underrated i like this uh, good for summer and spring that is crypto mint i'll write down the name in order next let me show you the other blue brother this one is the release from Mugler, okay? The new ownership, they released this. And uh, many people did not show fan following or loyalty to this. Even big reviewers called it like a thumbs down. I bought it because I absolutely love these stars. I love these bottles, blue. It's just one of the most unique things you'll ever see. And just, you know, like if you're a collector, you just wanna give it a shot, but by blind by didn't go bad. This one has sweetened caramel uh, not caramel sweetened cappuccino note but it's not really that much cappuccino it's more like a sweet cold iced coffee with a lot of sugar uh, powdered sugar or let's say milk it's a very nice composition trust me if you do not smell and pass on fragrances that is a silly thing to do it's really really nice okay ultimate it's not the ultimate fragrance but this is definitely not a bad fragrance okay mugler ultimate Next one is a controversial one, okay? Uh, since I'm talking, I'm gonna talk in depth a little bit. Uh, this one is called Pure Energy, okay? Pure Energy is a fragrance. Uh, let me pause this for a while, hold on. Yeah, sorry about that, sorry for interruptions, but uh, hopefully you're okay with this. So next one is controversial, it's called Pure Energy. When this fragrance came out first, uh, the bottle was exact same. The blue star and then the white, um, body and all these bottles they have this rubbery body uh with i forgot to say these uh, atomizers are really like the sprayers are one of the horrible most sprayers ever all the youtube reviewers uh, legendary reviewers will tell you these are something you want to cut off because not cut off as in like throw it away some people cut it and whole thing and throw it away no just cut it a little bit uh, keep this part and then take a blade or paper cutter and cut this much and then the sprayer would be exposed this will spray really well so they actually have this different bottle in there so it's like two part presentation so basically big thanks goes to all the great reviewers who made me fall in love with this house so when this one came out the face for this fragrance pure shot it was known as uh, oscar pistorius he was a sprinter uh, who didn't have legs he had what what he called those legs he had those artificial legs that you know he can he's the fastest man uh, who didn't have legs but he ran really fast so then afterwards what happened was controversy he supposedly you know on uh, record uh, shot his girlfriend to death by accident uh, these things are not something that we're going to discuss but after that it went for trial and all that but they changed the name to pure energy same exact fragrance i wanted to buy pure shot once this run out perhaps i will buy but these are discontinued so this again similar to that ice man uh, this one the uh, crypto mint but this is really grapefruit blast this is more uh, orange blood orange mint very cooling very long lasting very sporty this is a hidden gem i tell you even if you do not like the name pure shot whatnot for summer it's a beautiful little perfume with great performance the grapefruit is really nice so next perhaps is one of the most favorite top seller mugler cologne now they are known as something else but i think fly away or something or uh i don't know uh come come with me or something of this weird names they have this rainbow collection so this is the newer version it's Still Mugler Cologne, the original one. And then after that, they have the next one. They have like a butterfly, not butterfly. They have a rainbow collection. So Mugler Cologne, people say, is a designer version of uh, Creed's original vetiver. And uh, this actually smells pretty, pretty darn nice. It's very long lasting, soapy, clean, fresh vetiver, a lot of neroli. Uh, the Creed's one is much more posh, okay? Much more posh, much more 
creamier and a nicer smelling but yeah if you spend a lot of money you're gonna get like the creed one you're gonna get obviously better quality you expect that but uh mugler cologne is a no-brainer you know it's like easy to pull off most people on most part love this perfume okay so anyway sorry about that there was a call coming in so basically this is a fresh clean bar of soap and mugler basically went to take a trip in some of the foreign country and uh let give me a sec yeah sorry because i was getting a call and then you know like uh, the phone <laughs> when you have the phone recording it's kind of annoying but yeah mugler cologne basically the story in short thanks to all the reviewers that i absolutely admire they uh, describe this very nicely like uh, he went to take a trip in i forgot which country it was he was in a hotel but he woke up in the early morning he just wanted to bring back the freshness of the dew outside that hotel you know like that holiday and he created this perfume okay so the beautiful story behind this it's absolutely amazing i have a big bottle because i love this a lot uh, so definitely you can get a 300 ml or big bottle like this it's really good value so mugler cologne is perhaps one of the safest next one is something from that line i just bought it from one brother i actually didn't have don't have like plan to buy the whole line because they're kind of pricey you know like 55 65 bucks for 100 ml so mugler cologne is called take me out so this is i think they have a fantasy note in there for exactly it's like a hashish or something i don't know it's just uh they say whatever note is in like the black of cano i forgot the note uh cocaine i forget anyway so they have this like note but i don't really detect it's much more fresh just a piercing uh i think there is uh um, what is that note neroli or something like that florals but it's a beautiful creation and just like mugler cologne this is actually turned out to be lovely too love this perfume juice color is very pretty all on all these and the bottles are fun good for summer so now real uh big boys and serious talk starts all right uh, we'll talk about their uh uh, I, I, I don't know, Crown Jewel or their top seller or their fragrance. This is the one that started it all for Mugle. And that is Angel Man by, or Amen. I'm showing you the metal flask. I mean, sorry, the rubber flask first because uh, this is the one I had for a number of years. This one I bought in 2016. Uh, KLCC, Surya KLCC, Theory Mugle Counter. So uh, this one and Ultra Zest are the only two they had. Okay. And they had the uh, other women's one. I was not sure about this, you know. I smelled it on a paper and they gave me a small sample when I bought Ultra Zest. Ultra Zest was cheaper. That one was 300 ringgit. Uh, this one was, I think, around 360. I think so. And the counter, uh, there was this beautiful, uh, like, a, what do you call? Like this uh, lady, but she he was like a, a transgender person, but very beautiful in a sense that he or she, uh, very kind and knowledgeable person. So I really enjoyed talking to him or her uh, about Mugle she said i'll give you a sample and give it a try at first you're not gonna like it okay but you see the dry down you just see how addictive it gets over time you're gonna end up buying this bottle and exactly it happened after a few months i bought this one so this one i also have let me show you side by side both the theory mugle the metal plus version this is 2010 or 11 i forgot but this is a vintage version this is amped up version of amen fingerprint magnet but this is so so heavy I wanted to buy Beeman, but uh, I love this a lot. So I thought Beeman was okay. But uh, since I'm not going to be using Beeman that much, I might as well buy it. I don't know. But Amen is that ultimate dark bro. This one, it has coffee, tar, patchouli, chocolate, milk. You me, uh, just, just list down. This has the highest nose breakdown ever. Most complex, dark. Some people do not like it. Some people prefer Angel over Thierry uh, Amen. But we'll talk about it. So this is purely most of these are purely winter babies so this fragrance if you did like x dark temptation if you like the uh, sweet uh, bit mysterious fragrances this even some people say they have leather in them okay so this is their money maker still selling still available angelman or amen popularly known so they come in different uh, also see and that's not me doing it that's just people upstairs so <laughs> yeah this one uh is that darkness you know and they, they do have the different sets they give you like shower gel or uh, uh you know uh, aftershave a lot of products very mysterious very mysterious just take a look at the blue star that that's the blue juice makes up for it it's not a fresh perfume be careful okay so now next we're gonna be looking at one of the most underappreciated underrated gem it's called pure wood uh, i did top 10 mugler a uh, couple of years back and i love this house this one woody smell this one smell of oak tree and sometimes i get that 
point of pure malt that I have here. I'm going to show you in a bit this one uh, from this because there's a boozy vibe to it. Very long lasting, cold weather times. The look at the bottle. Okay. It's really beautiful and it's very long lasting. Very, very long lasting. The star is just lovely. Uh, when I saw these bottles first, I was like, damn, I need to get one of them. It's very mysterious. It looks very pretty. And the star is sort of like raised. If you never had one, you want to get one of these bottles. So this one, winter time, pure bliss. If you like woody smell, this is one of the best woody fragrances. And I once put this as number one to you. Mind that, all right? So remember that. Uh, this is very nice. Pure wood. Next one hard to find very hard to find very expensive this is called pure leather this is the big daddy of all of them uh, when you hear leather you know business is serious this is even more darker and more uh, uh daring than angel man why uh, at first you'll smell this and this side by side you feel amen and theory mugler pure leather are same fragrance no if you spend some time you'll see that round leather this one gives up very serious very dark and it's very very mature very mature fragrance it's so dark look at that it's you can hardly see the juice inside i don't think you can pure leather is in my collection because i love this perfume i simple as that i do decanting and stuff this one nobody wants but the fragrance is just if you are a lover of leather based fragrances this is one of the best hidden gem dark fragrance something like think of dior fahrenheit absolute the hidden gem the dark brother this is the darkest darkest of the whole line so Try it out uh, if you love leather. Next. So the next three perfumes are part of the three best I would suggest for winter. Three of the best. Okay. I had uh, the older bottles. I'm going to show you the three bottles here. These are my older bottles of these next three perfumes. One is pure heaven. One is pure malt. And this is pure tonka. So the juice level on these are almost finishing. Okay. This was my vintage batch of pure heaven. They look almost the same but... Uh, this is the Mugler version. So the they had three formulation. The oldest OG formulation, the first batch. Then they had a Thierry Mugler version. And then they have this. So let's talk about the new formulation. Pure Heaven has one of the most iconic looking bottles. It looks like the Havana cigar sort of skin. And you can distinguish this in the whole lineup. It's so different. You know, you can see and you know this is Pure Heaven. Cherry, tobacco, uh, sweetness, honey. And... If you do love this one, you're going to love Naxos by Zerjov. You're going to buy a lot of other perfumes, but this one's still going to have its place. The new formulation, even now getting harder to find. So definitely, if you love cigar, if you want to get this perfume, I have a green signal. You know, it only difference between this and the vintage or the older formulation, Thierry Mugler, is that this is not as bitter in the opening like the older ones are. These are very strong in the opening, like a bitter, sweet. Uh, but this is much more smoother, the honey note and the sweetness is much more amped up, easy to love and the performance is not that much different. It's not like 3-4 uh, hours difference, just 1 hour, couple of hours, but that's pretty much good. Pure Heaven definitely is one of my most favorite. This and Pure Malt, <laughs> these two I always get like competition, like I sometimes love this, sometimes I love this, you know, next year I love that. So Mark also has the same issue. He cannot choose one over the other i think he chosen one pure heaven once that's it so next one perhaps one of my biggest fragrance in my journey okay i told you this is gonna be long it's called pure malt this fragrance i have to take like a moment of silence uh not to you know rue or uh you know regret anything because of the story affair i have with this perfume pure malt uh, I know many of you love boozy fragrances. This is the most hype fragrance in the community like three, four years back. It was released as a like limited time edition and then they got discontinued. Then it was picking up like 300, 200 dollars, okay, or pounds because it was so hard to find. People wanted this one. They say it's processed in the same barrel as the processed whiskey and they infused whiskey with that original Amen. Uh, DNA and they made pure malt like it's a boozy whiskey perfume okay Jeremy hyped it Mark everybody loved it this is a sweetheart not known to be the most longest lasting but I told my sister to bring me this one in from UK in 2015 she bought it and she bought it in like brought it in 2016 um, in winter time if you just want to wear something that you just know nobody's gonna smell like you nobody it's the most unique perfume you can smell thousand other fragrances boozy fragrances but pure malt is gonna be the most unique sweet whiskey uh, patchouli is typical dry down of amen but 
uh, I have still have that Thierry Mugler version, even the new Mugler version, if you find, get it. Pure malt. If you love this perfume later, they might be very, very hard to find. Okay. This and these two especially are must-haves from Thierry Mugler, in my humble opinion. Okay. So now going into the next one. This is not one of my most favorite fragrances for all year round. This is called Pure Tonka. This was released in 2016 or 15. I went to Mugler counter. I did not like it uh, because it's so strong. This is the longest lasting Thierry Mugler fragrance till date. Write it down. Okay. So Pure Tonka, people compare this with uh, Tonka Imperial, uh, Fave Delicious, uh, Spiritus Dabovini, I'm not sure, but most of the Tonka based perfume, this one gets compared to, especially Tonka Imperial and the Fave Delicious, but it's different. It has spicy Tonka and it's, the spices are so strong. It's a gingerbread cookies or Christmas time. This is the fragrance. I sort of like still have juice left from my old bottle. The star is really pretty though. The thing is, you cannot wear this in high heat, okay? This is why I do not favor this, but people who want a beast mode longevity projector and it's going to last about 10 hours, this is the fragrance to buy from this whole line. Pure Tonka is well loved among many, many people, okay? But and this winter, I'm planning to wear this. Definitely one of the best, strongest designer fragrance out there. So now we have four women's perfume. There are a few more I reviewed but I don't own them, okay? So let's start with Angel. This is the most iconic fragrance in fragrance community. Um, sorry, I don't wanna show you my face, I'm in a mess. So <laughs> uh, Angel have a lot of, lot of flankers. Angel, Angel Muse, and they have Summer, and then they have uh, Aqua, a lot of these flankers. This one is the more wearable version of Angel Man, okay? These two are pair, but Angel Man is sort of like a dirty with the tar note. This one doesn't have that, this is sweet. And this perfume, oh shoot, you can see me, damn. <laughs> this perfume changes juice color over the years. This is the older batch. But trust me, the longevity on this even beats Angelman, okay? And this is so unisex. If you just try it, you'll know what I mean. Uh, this, and then they have a leather version. In cold weather time, absolute gems. Try the ADT, more fresher. But the Angel EDP is my most favorite uh, from this line at least top three i'll keep this okay that is angel beautiful bottle beautiful smell next we'll talk, talk about alien check out my other uh, reviews of mugle i do have some other essence and uh, the new ones absolute but this one the alien is one of the top sellers after angel uh, the jasmine base bomb okay alien queen this easily can be unisex perfume okay guys can wear it it's so strong. It's so strong. If you do like florals, if you do like jasmine, this is a perfume to wear. Alien, definitely I love this perfume. Very long lasting. And then let me show you the other one, the sibling. This is Alien Absolute, I think EDP, the dark juice. It comes in a like this kind of bottle, but this will be like a round bottle and the juice would be here. This bottle doesn't look so appealing because this is a refill bottle. But if you buy the 50 ml, whatever the small, these bottle sizes, this look amazing. Um, I think this fragrance is similar to Gautier Square, like Gautier 2 or Gautier Square by Jean-Paul Gautier. This is the beast mode version of that. If you never find that Jean-Paul, try this. Heavy vanilla, heavy, heavy fragrance. Uh, do not spray this on your white shirt, okay? Amazing fragrance. Amazing fragrance to the point of boozy vanilla, okay? Try it out. Beautiful fragrance. Alien Absolute. Last but not least, this is a fragrance I would recommend to dudes. Uh, if you like sweet fragrances, try Angel Muse by Thierry Mugler. This is the flanker. This more wearable version. They have different bottle sizes. The bottles are absolutely amazing. I love how sweet this is. This is drinkable. If you want to, one of my suggestion, I would suggest this over most of these fragrances, except a couple. Um, sweet, if you do like fragrance like Stronger With You Intensely, this is the fragrance. This is the way to go. There's the other one, the green one. I forgot the name, but uh, they have, I think, the fig-based one. Uh, Omenity and a uh, few other ones. I actually plan to buy them at some point, but here, this is the whole line we get. And the pure coffee is okay. I don't feel like I wanna buy it. B-Man, I may. Um, there is that um, pure, uh, what's the other one? Uh, they have a pure mall creation. I'm looking for that. That's a must buy for me. Um, there was Urban, uh, this kind of bottles, the Urban that is more fresher. And then there's one more, Pure Chili. If I find that, I'll review it. So basically, 
the long episode today is dedicated to Mugler. Uh, look back at this house. Do not, you know, ignore this house because they are not producing that much. Maybe you are missing something from this line. They can actually be much better than what they are releasing nowadays in designer uh, market, okay, or even niche. Very interesting house, very niche-like house and worth the money, absolutely. So, Thierry Mugle, I salute you. Whatever you have done for the community and the releases you did, this is epic proportion. You know, this is like something to be proud of. And I'm very proud of my Mugler collection. I just absolutely love this house, okay? So, thank you very much for watching for until this point And show some love to this house. And when you go to Mugler, try some of the fragrance. Perhaps you'll like them. Take a, uh, have a nice day and uh, take care of yourself. I will speak to you soon again. Bye-bye.